Welcome learners to the Library and Information Science program for senior secondary level. I am Dr. Akash Singh. In previous program, we learned about the traditional library services responsive and anticipatory. In this program, we will learn about the modern library services. The modern library services basically internet came into existence in the 1950s and gained popularity only in the mid 1990s. It has completely revolutionized each and every sphere of life, uh, be it banking and uh, entertainment or education space. It also deeply impacted on libraries. Libraries which are also known as knowledge centers have uh, taken advantage of internet in offering new collection and services to their users. In this unit, uh, we are just going to uh, have uh, several objective I am just explaining. Uh, the chapter this program has the objectives like importance of modern libraries for the society, how internet has changed the way library functions, elaborates this unit uh, elaborates upon the services offered by libraries using new tools and technologies and this unit will distinguish uh, between manual and computerized services which library offers and listing out of the various online resources. Uh, first of all, we will understand the concept of modern library. A modern library is a social organization which uses technology to offer information services. The services are offered uh, to its heterogeneous population on a 27 by 7 basis as and when required. It does not limit itself to offering place based service. Basically, a modern library have a social function in making knowledge publicly available. They play two major roles. Firstly, a serve itself as a local center of information and knowledge and secondly, to a local gateway to national and global knowledge. They also serve a gateway to the world of knowledge for children by offering a wide uh, spectrum of books to ignite their minds. Uh, they endure to uh, cultivate reading habits among the children at the early stage. Basically, what is a modern library? Modern library selects, procure, organize and deliver the widest possible range of current and quality information resources uh, to its uh, heterogeneous users, populations and it when they, uh, their user need it. Modern library is a member of some regional or national network in order to cater to uh, the information need of its users as at time information resources available with it may be inadequate to meet the user's need. Modern library basically maintains an uh, accessible website and reliable upon the technologies for enhancing its services. It makes concerted effort to provide services as and when users need beside providing place based service. Modern library provides references and user education programs on a regular basis. It also conducts information literacy program for its user. Uh, it communicates and connect with the users on a regular basis of uh, telling about the resources in order to attract them and ensure maximum uses of the resources. Modern library offers free internet access, uh, high speed uh, broadband Wi-Fi facilities which are required by students and researchers, research scholars for writing term paper, research activities, searching jobs, etc. The modern library provides space to students and users for organizing exhibition and community meeting. Uh, it offers quiet zone and space for group discussion. It is accessible and friendly to users with physical disability. It has an uh, assistive technology center to enhance, to enable visually challenged users to access computer and internet resources. The modern library uh, also provides information resources in alternative form in order to help the users with print disability. It constantly evaluates its collection and services by gathering feedback from the users, user population evolves and 
improves them in the light of feedback received from the user. Basically why uh, we need uh, for modern library services? Earlier libraries were place based service institutions which existed to cater to the information need of their user. The users visited the library to consult various sources of information as per their need. But now during the last three decades the emergence of internet technologies, modern telecommunications and, alert, uh, and other allied areas like data processing, management information system, information retrieval system etc. has radically impacted uh, the functioning and endeavor of the library. So basically why the modern library services need arise? Because uh, the users uh, they just, uh, just change towards their need for information seeking behavior, increased demand and expectations of the users and the availability of the technology which facilitate availability and access accessibility of the document. Why they need it? Basically, there is a change in the information seeking behavior. The first point of the user libraries, the users of the libraries have to change and adopt themselves in order to meet the information needs of the users. Libraries are supposed to provide information to the users as and when and in whatever format they need it. They, the new generation which is popularly known as millennials or netizens is more comfortable working in online environment. The second uh, reason uh, basically the need for the modern library services is the expectations and demands of the users have increased manifold. They are no longer content uh, with place based library services as they want information services beyond the forewalk of the physical library. And the third uh, why uh, this uh, the modern library services require is it's available for the libraries to transform as per the expectations and demands of their user population. Libraries can implement new technologies for providing innovative information services in order to uh, retain their existing clientele and attract new ones. If the libraries do not transform to provide new modern ser uh, services as per the demand and expectations of the users, the risk slipping into extinction. In further, uh, we will discuss about the manual uh, services, manual library services and the computerized library services. Maintenance of uh, various library records, registers and cards is known as manual system. It entails execution of various activities and procedures by hand without any intervention of computers. The services which are provided or delivered to the users without using computer as an intermediary are known as manual service. Today, today libraries are using computerized system to maintain records to all activities and procedures. The libraries have uh, computerize their housekeeping operations like acquisition, catalog, circulation and recording details of journal subscriptions. Library use uh, library management software for performing various activities of the libraries. So uh, in detail uh, we will discuss about the difference between this manual service and computerized based service. The circulation section issued in manual services, the circulation uh, section issues book to the readers by using the card or on the register system and on computer based system uh, every member requires a single card with unique identity uh, card number, identification number and with the help of this card RFID systems are there to, uh, through which the books are issued. In manual the technical sections of the library catalogs the books and prepare print cards catalog. It also prepare a list of uh, the new edition manually but uh, in computerized system cataloging uh, process is done automatically by the software and OPEC is provided to the member to search the books available within the library. Library prepares uh, in manual services, library prepares bibliographies, abstracts and indexes as per the research need of the users. But in computer services, the housekeeping software facilitates automatic, uh, automatic generation of such services. On the other side, in manual services, current awareness services are provided to the users by routing the photocopy 
of table of content of the journals. Uh, on the counterpart, computer, uh, computer services, users are informed about arrival of new books and journal uh, issues uh, through mail alert. Uh, the feedback uh, is sent, table of content in electronic formats are sent with the help of email to the users. In manual services, reference services is provided as a face-to-face -face interaction or interview. But in computerized services, the reference section receives request for the references and the concerned reference text specialists send the same through email to the responsive client. In uh, manual services, stock taking is done by the staff manually, but in computerized service, RFID tags and RFID technology is used for uh, stock verification purposes. Now, uh, modern library commits to render a various uh, type of specialized services like access to e-resources, union catalog and web OPEC, FAQ means frequently asked questions, reader advisory services, digital reference services, resource sharing services, remote access emailing, web 2.0, uh, creating finding tools and websites. Now uh, we will discuss all these uh, services in a little bit more way. Uh, first one is the access to e-resources, earlier library uh, procured, processed, organized and delivered various print resources like books, journals, newspapers, magazines. Now they can actively uh, procure uh, their e-format like e-journals, e-books, e, e, e and dissertations and online databases. The library subscribe to e-resources and provide access to their uh, resources via internet. Resource sharing uh, basically uh, the second uh, service, the specialized service of modern library services is resource sharing. Resource sharing means common use of resources by two or more library. It is also an attempt by libraries to uh, share information resources and services which may be limited or specialized and might be available with a single library. Uh, for example, INDIST, Indian National Digital Library and Engineering Science and Technology uh, is an example of resource sharing. UGC InfoNet is the, another example of digital library consortia. The next service uh, is remote access. Library provides single uh, sign-on uh, facility to their users for resources accessible on the uh, resources in there. In this, a single UNPD is provided to the member who can access all the resources of the library without visiting the library. The another specialized service is Union Catalog and Web OPEC. The Union Catalog is a combined library catalog uh, uh, describing the collection of number of libraries. Uh, Union uh, Catalog and Web OPEC are useful uh, to the library as they assist in locating and uh, requesting material from uh, other libraries for the documents delivery and inter, uh, interlibrary loan. The next service, specialized service is digital reference services. Basically, dis digital reference services is a e-reference service which uh, where user uh, where, uh, where user employ computers or uh, other interface technology to uh, communication with the uh, reference staff without being uh, physically present. Uh, communication channels used in uh, digital uh, reference and chat, uh, video conferencing, email, uh, voice over IP or Instant messaging is also known as virtual, ref this service is also known as virtual reference services, online reference and uh, remote access uh, reference services. The next service is the email service. The library provides references services through email. The email address of the um, reference staff librarian is given to the library's website and the readers write their queries for the assistance to the reference staff and they get response. The other service, another service is frequently asked service. Uh, it means FAQ, it means frequently asked services. It is a file or list of uh, frequently asked questions which uh, with answers in the form of questions and uh, uh, question answers. The FAQs offer uh, help to the users by giving information on various aspects, activities and issue of the library. Basically, this is a predetermined question and answer uh, which, are, which are very useful for the uh, uh, users of the library. 
The next uh, special service of the modern library is the reader advisory services. Libraries also uh, offer advisories, ad advisory services to the readers including online books list and recommendations. This service provides users with information they need to select a book. It is a value added services and matched the use user with the right book. The next uh, is the specialized type of service is web 2.0 tool. Basically web 2.0 tools are web based facility which allow users to gain access contribute, uh, describe a uh, web maintained content in various formats such as text, video, audio, pictures and graphics. The another uh, specialized service is uh, the IM, it means instant message and SMS services. Instant messages allow uh, online uh, communication uh, between two or more people using text based short messages via the web in uh, real time. The reference staff uh, may answer uh, ready reference questions, questions, directions or policies related queries uh, through IM or SMS. The next service uh, is the creating finding tools and the websites. The reference staff creates a finding tools and a pathfinder for library users. The libraries uh, prepare uh, uh, pathfinders for very common um, queries raised by the students. The pathfinder may uh, assist and guide the users in selecting and locating uh, appropriate reference sources, uh, pertinent uh, databases and uh, search terms, authoritative uh, current websites and tips for uh, searching OPEX for any other additional material. Now we will discuss about the about the computerized library services. Basically computerized library services have an edge in various ways uh, due to uh, its speed, more search options, easy availability and accessibility of data and integration of data. Let us uh, uh, discuss all these uh, computerized waste library services uh, benefit in uh, little bit detail. First one is the speed uh, searching electronic database is much faster than their print counterpart. Uh, these database offer current as uh, well as retrospective searching uh, setting basically at the computer terminal one can retrieve current as well as the retrospective records speedily. The second uh, benefit is the more speed option the reference staff creates finding tools and pathfinder for library users. The libraries uh, prepare pathfinder for very uh, common queries raised by the students. The pathfinders may assist and guide uh, the users in selecting and locating appropriate reference sources, uh, pertinent databases, search terms, authoritative uh, current websites and tips for the search, uh, searching the OPEC for any other additional material. So uh, the next uh, computer library service benefit is the integration of data. The table of content service of many libraries provide link to full text uh, electronic journals and articles without uh, within uh, journals for browsing as well as for printing. Providing full text link to e-resources is most important value added services provided by modern library. The next uh, benefit is the easy availability and accessibility of data. Users uh, in a modern library can search library resources remotely. Searching e-databases and retrieving information is less time consuming than searching their print counterpart. E-databases provide easily availability and accessibility of data. Now uh, the role of library which is very essential uh, and uh, the role of the library in the age of internet, uh, availability of internet has totally changed. When we are talking, uh, we are discussing about the modern library, the role of the librarian is very essential. There is a general feeling or appreciation among the experts that the role of the librarian will be insignificant in the internet age, which is totally wrong. There is a phenomena of the information uh, dialogue, which means that there is too much of information and the users are overwhelmed with it. At this juncture, the librarian have to play a significant role. In this internet age, the librarians are cyber guides beside being the custodian of knowledge. So uh, one by one, we will discuss the specialized role of librarian in internet age in a modern library. 
a librarian has to act as a value adding information professional. He should adopt and integrate digital services with traditional one. He should have good negotiable skill. They have to negotiate, uh, negotiate with vendors in order to uh, finalize the licenses of e-journals, online databases for remote access. Many uh, consortia agreement for economical subscription prices, uh, he should have a negotiable uh, skill for that. They should try to maximize revenue and minimize cost and get good value for e-journals packages deals. On the other side, a librarian in modern library should have the skill to convince authority to grant fund for digital project. He should uh, have a, a special skill to develop a close work relationship with the users for providing individual and personalized service. He should have the knowledge to use Web.2 tools like blogs, pod podcast, broadcast for providing services and connecting to the users. A librarian in uh, internet age should have, uh, should know the latest technological development and be uh, knowledgeable enough to know how to harness the potential of technological tools for providing efficient services to the users. The librarian has uh, ensure access to e-resources both on, uh, on site and off site. They should know about uh, different print and online resources and have the skill to develop and maintain a sound collection keeping in view uh, the objective of the parental organization. A librarian should have a skill to arrange, procure, organize and maintain content in alternative formats for visually challenged users. They should also ensure that the library as a physical place is accessible to the physically challenged user. A librarian should have good interpersonal skill in order to work with the others in uh, an amicable manner and he should have good managerial and communication skill. They should able to analyze, take judicious decision and know when uh, to look for guidance. They have to promote their services among the users. They should know how to communicate with the users and satisfy with uh, their services. So uh, in this unit, uh, we learned a number of points. We will discuss uh, the all points at the last. The advent of the internet has completely changed the way libraries function. Earlier, uh, they focuses on collecting uh, development. Now, uh, they are more concerned with the connecting and communicating with the users. Early libraries were considered a storehouse of the book and other reading material and the librarians as custodians. Whereas now, the libraries are concerned with providing access to users where and uh, whenever they want to. Librarians are no longer custodian, but they are guardian and purveyors of knowledges who uh, use the new tools and technologies to augment their services towards the users. The manual services have been replaced by a computerized one, uh, which have uh, proved speedy, prompt and cost effective in nature. A modern library is a social organization which uses technologies to offer information services uh, to its heterogeneous population on a 27 by 7 basis as and when they need them. It does not limit itself to offering place based services. Basically the role of librarian will not diminishing in the internet age uh, provided they learn and evolve themselves. So uh, thank you learner for patiently listening and understanding about the module modern library services. Uh, we will meet in the next module. Till then, goodbye.